Welcome to PhotoCamp. I'm Shelley Waldman. This is where I give business and photography tips so you can turn your passion into a paycheck. Today, we're going to talk about how to find clients, how to get clients. And it's a lot of work, actually, but it's not as hard as you think. It's about narrowing in on who you actually want to go after. So one of my favorite tips is to actually go through the grocery store, walk them down every aisle. And when there's a package that strikes your fancy, pick it up, turn it over, look at the label, look at the organization that's making it. And typically they put their social handles on there or they'll put their website on there. And you can take a picture of the packaging and you can come home and you can research that company. And so you, if you walk up and down the aisles, you're gonna find a lot of organizations that are actually local to you or local to your area. Just today, I found a new company uh, doing prepackaged beans inside Target. And they're an organization right out of Oakland. And um, in my pantry, I even have some things. So open up your pantry and see what olive oils jump out at you or spices jump out of you that you really then want to go target those clients. Um, you can then let your fingers do the internet search, find those organizations, get on LinkedIn and find the marketing manager or the brand manager or the PR company or the ad agency that represents that brand and start tailoring your work to that organization and show them what you can do. Another great way is to actually do a test shoot with that product. So if you've seen on my Instagram feed over at Shutter Shelly, you'll have seen some hard seltzers that I've shot for a company called Ashlyn and they're out of San Diego and I absolutely love their packaging and I love their product and I just had some fun playing and creating some imagery that then I can turn around and share with them to show them actually what I can do with their product. For other brands that might not be food-based, it's to hit the pavement. Really walk up and down the streets of your local neighborhood and find all of the different shops and organizations and professional businesses that are there. Hone in your fear and walk through the door and introduce who you are and what you do and leave them a business card. You can ask them, hey, you know, when was the last time you updated the visuals on your website? When was the last time you got professional photography done? You know, what are you doing in the next quarter or six months to a year to really get your name and visuals out there, I can help. And if you get to know them and get to start that dialogue, then when they are ready to hire somebody, they'll think of you. You can also look at Chamber of Commerce lists to get an idea of organizations that are local to you. You can look at the different clubs that are around like the Lions Club and Rotary Club. You can look at nonprofits board lists to also get an idea of different organizations and companies that are out there that are spending money. So there's a lot of different ways to find companies, but you have to do the research. And then you have to put together a targeted list that really matches who you are and the work that you do to then go market them. And that means more than just one email. That means if you can meet them in person, fantastic. If you can follow up with an email, wonderful. But remember, it's going to be that consistency over time that when they are ready to then hire for the photographer, that they will think of you. So it is a long game. It is about being in the right place at the right time. It's about sharing your newest work and also following along with their journey and congratulating them for certain wins. So if you see that they have an article in the paper, tell them, you know, congratulations. It's super exciting to see that you were recognized for X, Y, and Z. If you see that, you know, maybe they opened a new location or they launched a new product or they've researched something new, any accolades that you actually can be genuinely excited about for them shows that you're following along. And then you're gonna be more apt to be ready to work with that brand when they're ready to work with you. So finding clients is not about you building the business and they find you. It's about you building the business and then telling those clients that you're here. So when they're ready for photography, they think of you first. So really it's about consistent marketing to a targeted list. So remember you can find organizations, you can find brands by just walking around your neighborhood, by looking up local companies using Yahoo Local or even Yelp, you can look at your favorite delivery apps and see who's delivering to your neighborhood. So DoorDash, Postmates, all those are great ways to find local organizations. You can use the location tag in Instagram. But again, it is com comes down to you marketing yourself to the targeted brands that you want to work with. So I wish you luck and let me know in the comments below 
three top brands that you're going to go after in your neighborhood. If you need accountability for finding clients or building your business or just busting through any challenges that you're finding along your business journey, then come join me and others over at the Food Photography Mentorship Group. You can see the link all about it below. Thanks again, Camper, for joining me this week. I love sharing my knowledge with you. If you've got questions about finding clients or challenges that you're facing or want to share your wins about what you're finding in your neighborhood, leave me a comment below. And as always, if you're enjoying this content, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you real soon.